because I was ready to just sell the boat. We've been hanging out here in Norman Cay for the last few days, and with a big westerly about to blow through, we're going to head north to find some shelter. But before we do, no trip to Norman Cay would be complete without diving on the Pablo Escobar plane wreck. So Pablo Escobar's plane wreck, that's what we just dove on and we were really surprised when we pulled up it looked like there's gonna be nothing left but I mean there's still propellers on the plane and what's the story give us a good story I don't th so what I know is obviously <laughs> it was either full of cash or it was either full of drugs but it crashed out here um, I think the story goes that you know he had a private island out here so and he used to run his drugs from Colombia through the Bahamas into the States. So yeah, so that's uh, that's old Escobar's plane, right? I thought it would be a better story. <laughs> I'll look like, up some more information. Maybe like it's more were, detailed. They were chasing him. Oh. And, you know, I don't know. He went down. TBC on <laughs> Escobar's story. Maybe there's a juicier story there. I'll see what I can dig up on the net.
we got these cool little things that Nat's mom made. She crocheted them, pretty cool. And these are these little Ikea shelves. You remember we got some that hold the spices on the other side? So we got two more and we're gonna install them here because it's kind of just dead space. So um, we've marked it off, Nat's marked off the spots and you basically just screw in one screw on each side and it has these little things where it just kind of slots in. So I'm gonna put the screws in first. Yeah, so that's the first one, super solid. Nat's got these cool little clips she found so we can, uh, I don't know, we can clip, clip a photo or, I don't know. It's pretty cool though. It's just super happy that we get to use the space now. Yeah. Wow, it looks amazing. Looks great, eh? Yeah. Put I all like kinds it. of things in there. Look, fits a little mobile phone. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. It's excellent. It's perfect if you have like, I don't know, like, oh, like, well, that's gonna be our um, like video gear. Yeah, stuff. like a little media center yeah. or something, isn't it? We can put stuff here, and I mean, and if that doesn't work out, who knows? We got all kinds of options of stuff we can put there, isn't there? So. Yeah, gotta make it work on a small space. So. Big job today is to get this new seal in for this window. Um, we've just taken that one off, and it is. Like, show us there, James. Yeah, so there's no elasticity left in this whatsoever. It's completely compressed flat. Um, it should look like that. Yeah. See how it, you have that elasticity? This is just flat. So, yeah, we're going to replace this. Uh, it's not a hard job. It's just so finicky. I've got to get all the silicone out of the groove here because they put a bead of silicone on this. I will then... Once that's all clean, I'll cut a new piece for the size of this one, and then I will dry fit it, glue the ends together, and then there we go. And this is pretty important, this one, because it's right above our nav station. Yep. So all the electrical stuff there has gotten wet, and we've had to put like cloths we, under there. Yeah. And we always have a rolled up cloth underneath this yeah. window, don't we? So this so. is going to be the window that changes it all, really. Yeah. So. And then we're also going to do this one here, and that one over there, and then we've also done... We've got one in the bedroom here to do... You look we like are, a flight attendant. We and already, the exits so, are... And we've already done that one as a test one, and it works perfect. Yeah. So yeah, this bedroom, this window, this window, this window. Perfect. So what I've done is, in this groove here, that's where the silicone was. Um, so the lip kind of goes like that, and like that, and like that. And the silicone can get stuck down in here, but it's so old and dry that it all came out no problem, unlike the last window. <laughs> Love the use of a spatula. <laughs> Comes in handy in a lot of things. It's my uh, fitting tool. I'm ready to sell the boat, but Natalie is having better luck by the looks of it. Let's see how she's going. Crushing it, babe. Nah, just pulled all this out. That's all right. You're doing way better than I was doing. I couldn't even get like a few inches. It just kept popping out. It's just a silly, silly, silly system. But Natalie's done half the window already, so. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna get her to do all the windows. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the seals are in, and thanks to Nat, she got it, because I was ready to just sell the boat. So, um, I don't know how she got it, but I just couldn't figure it out. I got the other window, no problem. That one got the better of me. But I'll show you quickly what it looks like, and then we're gonna do the water test. There you go, you can see the seals are in. We glued that in. Water, water test time, here we go. Nat's got a little bucket of water. We're looking for drips, mainly right here. So far, so good. I don't see any water. Normally, it'll pool up in here. Maybe we'll throw a little bit more water just to make sure. Um, but so far, so good. So we've done three buckets of water, and Nat did a bucket of water. And as you can see, not a single drip. Dry as a bone. We even have water pooling here, which is what happens with these windows, which is why the lower corner on these Lumars always seems to uh, drip. And she's dry. Sure. You got 
got this one coming in. We got that other one coming in now. We got James. <laughs> we got these guys like across our bow now. It's like everybody wants the same piece of stuff. <laughs> and it's just not gonna happen. Catamaran, catamaran, catamaran. Are these guys moving? Yeah. Oh. What did they say? They, they're just asking, look how close they are. Guys, yeah. They're just like, oh, where's, where's your anchor? It's like, you can see it, it's right there. This guy wanted to drop right there. How is that ever gonna work? He's like, oh, the current seems okay. And I was like, no, dude, my anchor head's right there, he's right there. It's always our boat, honestly. Because we always get the good spots, that's why. So everybody wants to be where we are. <laughs> I don't know if it is that or what it is, but honestly, I'm over it because we then end up getting hit. There's so much space around but everybody just wants to pile into the one spot so. oh, all man. i know is this guy here is anchored well this guy here behind us is good oh, i know so the problem everybody's having which we had as well it took us three spots till we figured out where we are we're in allen's key by the way is there's not a lot of protection spots for north yeah. anything westerly or northwesterly yeah. um and normally we get a little bit of westerlies like in the Bahamas here, a couple of times we've had them, but they usually only last like an afternoon, but this one's lasting two days. So, everybody's scrambling, nobody knows where to go. You know, we had three, we had three anchorages to choose from, two didn't work out. This one, I mean, this isn't even the best, it's still quite rolling. Yeah, it's super rolling. But it's the offers, best out of it. Yeah, and it still has quite good protection. If the wind should swing, we're protected from the east, so, which it will on Sunday. Got a fish? 